Mary Parker Follett was an American social worker, management consultant and pioneer in the fields of organizational theory and organizational behavior. Along with Lillian Gilbreth, Mary Parker Follett was one of two great women management gurus in the early days of classical management theory. Follett is known to be mother of modern management. Biography Follett was born in 1868 in Quincy, Massachusetts to a wealthy Quaker family. Her family was composed of Charles Allen Follett, a machinist in a local shoe factory, and Elizabeth Curtis Follett, respectively of English, Scottish, and Welsh descent, and a younger brother. Follett attended Thayer Academy, a collegiate preparatory day school in Braintree, while spending much of her free time caring for her disabled mother. In September 1885 she enrolled in Amatickness Society to encourage studies at home. From 1890-91, she studied at the University of Cambridge and then moved to study at Society for the Collegiate Instruction of Women in Cambridge. For the next six years Follett attended the university on an irregular basis eventually graduating summer cum laude in 1898. Her Radcliffe thesis, The Speaker of the House of Representatives, was published in 1896. She would go on to apply to Harvard but would be denied entrance to the university on the basis that she was a woman. Over the next three decades, she published many works. She was one of the first women ever invited to address the London School of Economics, where she spoke on cutting-edge management issues. She also distinguished herself in the field of management by being sought out by President Theodore Roosevelt as his personal consultant on managing not-for-profit, non-governmental, and voluntary organizations. Ideas and Influences Follett a Euro unregistered trademark s educational and work background would shape and influence her future theories and writings. One of her earliest career positions would see her working as a social worker in the Roxbury neighborhood of Boston from 1900-08. During this period her interactions with the Roxbury community would lead her to realize the importance of community spaces as areas to meet and socialize. Her experience in developing vocational guidance and evening programs in public schools, she would develop what would be her life's work and her theories in group dynamics. The New State, her second writing published in 1918, would evolve from a report into her second published work. This publication would go on to lay the foundational theories for her most important theories and become a major center of attention of her career. Equals organizational theory equals in her capacity as a management theorist, Follett pioneered the understanding of lateral processes within hierarchical organizations, the importance of informal processes within organizations, and the idea of the authority of expertise a euro, which really served to modify the typology of authority developed by her German contemporary, Max Weber, who broke authority down into three separate categories, rational legal, traditional and charismatic. She recognized the holistic nature of community and advanced the idea of reciprocal relationships in understanding the dynamic aspects of the individual in relationship to others. Follett advocated the principle of what she termed integration, or non-coercive power sharing based on the use of her concept of power with rather than power over. Follett contributed greatly to the win-win philosophy, coining the term in her work with groups. Her approach to conflict was to embrace it as a mechanism of diversity and an opportunity to develop integrated solutions rather than simply compromising. She was also a pioneer in the establishment of community centers. Equals Follett's writings equals, Follett's writings span the decades. In the new state, she ponders many of the social issues at hand today. It is a mistake to think that social progress is to depend upon anything happening to the working people. Some say that they are to be given more material goods and all will be well. Some think they are to be given more education, and the world will be saved. It is equally a mistake to think that what we need is the conversion to unselfishness of the capitalist class. Equals transformational leadership equals, Anne Powellick Deschines found obscure reference pointing to Mary Parker Follett having coined the term transformational leadership. She quotes from Edith A. Rush's The Social Construction of Leadership, From Theory to Praxis. Writings and lectures by Mary Parker Follett from as early as 1927 contained references to transformational leadership, the interrelationship of leadership and followership, 
and the power of collective goals of leaders and followers. Burns makes no reference to Follett in leadership. However, Rush was able to trace what appear to be parallel themes in the works of Burns and Follett. Rush presents direct references in Appendix A. Powellick found further parallels of transformational discourse between Follett's work and Burns. Influences, although most of Follett's writings remain known in very limited circles until republished at the beginning of this decade, her ideas gained great influence after Chester Barnard, a New Jersey Bell executive and advisor to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, published a seminal treatment of executive management, the functions of the executive. Barnard's work, which stressed the critical role of soft factors such as communication, and informal processes in organizations, owed a telling yet undisclosed debt to Follett's thought and writings. Her emphasis on such soft factors paralleled the work of Elton Mayo at Western Electric's Hawthorne plant, and presaged the rise of the human relations movement, as developed through the work of such figures as Abraham Maslow, Kurt Lewin, Douglas McGregor, Chris Argery and other breakthrough contributors to the field of organizational development or OD. Her influence can also be seen indirectly perhaps in the work of Ron Lippitt, Ken Benn, Lee Bradford, E.D.C. Shaw and others at the National Training Laboratories in Bethel, Maine, where T-group methodology was first theorized and developed. Follett's work set the stage for a generation of effective, progressive changes in management philosophy, style and practice, revolutionizing and humanizing the American workplace and allowing the fulfillment of Douglas McGregor's management vision a Euro quantum leaps in productivity affected through the humanization of the workplace. Later life and legacy, Follett died on December 18, 1933, in Boston, Massachusetts. After her death her work and ideas would disappear from American organizational and management circles of the time but would continue to gain followership in Great Britain. In the last decades her work has been rediscovered. During the 1960s her ideas would re-emerge in Japan where management thinkers would apply her theories to business. Her texts outline modern ideas under participatory management, decentralized decisions, integrating role of groups, and competition authority. Follett managed to reduce the gap between the mechanistic approach and contemporary approach that emphasizes human behavior. Her advocacy for schools to be used after hours for recreational and vocational use affected the Boston area where schools opened their doors after hours for such uses, and community centers were built where schools were not located, a revolutionary concept during the 20th century. Her experience working in this area taught her a lot about notions of democracy and led her to write more for a wider audience a Euro particularly the business world. She believed that good practice amongst business people would have a significant impact on other institutions. Publications, she authored a number of books and numerous essays, articles and speeches on democracy, human relations, political philosophy, psychology, organizational behavior and conflict resolution. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, 1896, The New State, Creative Experience, The Giving of Orders, 1926, Dynamic Administration, The Collected Papers of Mary Parker Follett. References Further reading, Metcalf, Henry C. Awick, Lindell. The Early Sociology of Management and Organizations, Volume 3 Dynamic Administration, The Collected Papers of Mary Parker Follett. London, UK, Taylor and Francis E. Library. ISBN 9780415279264. Wilson, Ellen. 1989. Mary Parker Follett, Prophet of Management, A Celebration of Writings from the 1920s. District of Columbia, Beard Books. ISBN 9781587982288. Wilson, Ellen. 1989. Bruce H. Management. Hall Page, New York, Barron's Educational Series. ISBN 9780764139314. Follett, M.P. The New State, Group Organization The Solution of Popular Government, Mary Parker Follett University Park, Pennsylvania, The Pennsylvania State University Press.
ISBN 9780271018264. Ebay Auction 1993. MP Freedom and Coordination, Lectures in Business Organization. New York, Management Publications Trust Limited. Follett, MP Dynamic Administration. New York, Harper and Brothers Publishers. Follett, MP Creative Experience. New York, Peter Smith. Follett, MP The New State, Group Organization The Solution of Popular Government. New York, Lengmans, Green & Company. Powellick, A.D. Towards an Understanding of Transformational Leadership in Education. Submitted in partial fulfillment of the requirements for the degree of Master of Education, University of Western Ontario. Ha copyright on, F. Davies A. Jones Patoli J. Damart S. The Essential Mary Parker Follett, Ideas We Need Today, Amazon Self Publishing. ISBN 9780993955. Ebay Auction 1993, Mary Parker Follett Biography Reference Bank. Stivers, Camilla. Integrating Mary Parker Follett and Public Administration. Public Administration Review 2006, 473. JSTOR Journals. Phillips, John R. Scholarship and Public Service, The Life and Work of Mary Parker Follett. Public Voices 11.247-69. SOC Index with Full Text. Bathurst, Ralph, and Nanette Munin. Shaping Leadership for Today. Mary Parker Follett a Euro Unregistered Trademark S Aesthetic. Leadership 6.2115-131. FSIC Info. Snyder, Keith. Living Pragmatism, The Case of Mary Parker Follett. Administrative Theory and Praxis 1998, 274. JSTOR Journals. Stout, Margaret, and Janin M. Love. The Unfortunate Misinterpretation of Miss Follett. Public Voices 13.211-32. SOC Index with Full Text. Stout, Margaret, and Janin M. Love Integrative Process, Follettian Thinking from Ontology to Administration. Anoka, Minnesota, Process Century Press. Follett, Mary Parker. Credo Reference Collections. Parker, L.D. Control in Organizational Life, The Contribution of Mary Parker Follett. Academy of Management Review 9.4736-745. Business Source Complete. Lester, William. Mary Parker Follett in Transforming Disaster Response. Public Voices 11.270-76. SOC Index with Full Text, Morse, Ricardo S. Profit of Participation, Mary Parker Follett and Public Participation in Public Administration. Administrative Theory and Praxis 2006, 1. JSTOR Journals. Gibson, Jane Whitney, A.L. Examining the Work of Mary Parker Follett Through the Lens of Critical Biography. Journal of Management History 19.4441. Publisher provided full text searching file. Fry, Brian R., and J. C. N. Rhodes Helders. Mastering Public Administration, from Max Weber to Dwight Waldo slash Brian R. Fry, University of South Carolina. Joss E. N. Rhodes Helders, The Ohio State University. N. P. Washington DCCQ Press, 2014, 2014. Texas State, Orc Libraries Catalog. Natimia, Walter E., and Paul Hersey. Classics of Organizational Behavior N.P. Longgrove, Illinois, Waverland Press, a copyright 2011. Texas State Orc Libraries Catalog. Witzel, Morgan. The Encyclopedia of the History of American Management General Editor, Morgan Witzel N.P. Bristol OM's Continuum, a copyright 2005. Texas State, Orc Libraries Catalog. Constructive Conflict, Advice from the Mother of Modern Management. Changing Wines. N.P., December 16, 2009. Retrieved April 21, 2015. External links, the Mary Parker Follett Network website, 
include full texts of many Follett works, full text of the new state, Page's image of creative experience, Rush, Edith A. The Social Construction of Leadership, Theory to Praxis. Mary Parker Follett, The Law of the Situation.